it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I wanted to show you how to do an acrylic sign. I've done them before, um, a video before that is, um, for the wedding sign and also the graduation sign. But I wanted to do another one because on this one I wanted to use HTV and iron it on. So um, there's going to be a couple tips. I'm not going to do the paint portion because I've done that before and you can just, you know, it's painting on the back. So the main thing that I love about acrylic signs is, um, and what maybe others don't like about it, is that when you do it this way, so this is a drawing of the acrylic sign, which you can do on your Cricut. It's super easy, and I do have the tutorial as part of this one um, to show you how to do that. But what people might not like about acrylic signs is that it's crooked or that the acrylic has bubbles, right? You don't have bubbles if you're not, if you're able to hold it super tight like this and putting it down, if you're not worried about how straight it is or where it needs to be, you can really hold it tight and place it down with your template. And when you have it like that, I mean, honestly, I've done the gigantic ones, the 20 by 30 or 20 by 32, I can't remember, um, many times without any issue. And that's with the acrylic, I mean, that's with um, adhesive vinyl. In this case, where we're gonna be ironing, it's gonna be even easier. But I do have a mix of both because I wanted to have different textures. I always think that's super cool. So this one is your metallic vinyl that's gonna go on. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's so, I love this font too. So that's on Creative Fabrica. And then I have my logo and all my information in the glitter blue HTV. So let's get started on this. So first thing is, you can see, I haven't even done anything. Um, we're gonna peel off the protective sheet on the acrylic sign. And I do get my acrylic blanks. This one, you can, I've gotten it both from Home Depot and Amazon. So here you go. And you always wanna paint last because it's clear and you wanna be able to use your ruler, right? So whether you're using just this pad which is great. I mean, that's that's good too, but this is even better <laughs> because this will tell you exactly where it goes. So see, this lines up perfectly. It draws out where your um, square needs or rectangle needs to be. And I'm going to tape the whole thing down. So I'm gonna tape, I wanna make sure that my paper is lined up so that it doesn't make me feel like I'm seeing things. And then also, I'm going to take the acrylic down so I don't have to worry about that. So once we tape it down, give me just one second. So we're going to be using, and I love my mini press. I really thought, I, I mean seriously, I really thought that was going to be a super frivolous um, purchase. I'm even going to use my Merry Christmas washi tape. <laughs> Um, but I have it out on my desk. It's right here. It's so small. I have it out on my desk almost all the time. I don't even bother putting it away. And it's so small, you know, it doesn't take up much room and I use it so much. So, all right, so I'm going to put it down here and then I'm also going to do, I'm not going to do the whole sign today. I just want to give you a preview and kind of like a taste for what it is, how to do it but we don't have to do the whole sign. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna tape this side down. And give me a second. I do wanna take a picture of this. <laughs> so, um, let's see. All right, so we're gonna do that. I, okay, I do wanna clean this section up a little bit for my, the follow tag and like, but the rest of it, now I don't know what happened, why useless didn't come out. I guess I didn't notice it from before, but, this so far has been a weeding nightmare. I normally love glitter HTV. It's this sheet. It did, well, didn't stick very well. It just was like a total nightmare. So anyway, you see how I'm lining lining up the, the word the and everything else is connected. So I'm just gonna push down and I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put it down a little bit like that. I'm kind of worried that I'm, burning the thing. But I'm gonna put this down and just run it enough so that I can pull off, so I can pull off this transfer sheet. It didn't stick enough yet. 
and I could honestly it felt like when I was weeding this thing that I um, I have a bad batch of HTV here I think I want to be able to just get enough so I can pull it off because this this transfer sheet keeps the heat from hitting the the HTV from like activating that glue so I don't want to have it on for too long and I don't want to apply too much heat so I'm going to try to pull this off and you see it it was sticky enough that as long as I have my finger down, it's not going anywhere. So I know that the glue was activated. I'm just gonna keep my finger down there like that. Okay, there. So that's down. I'm gonna hit it later with a little bit more heat, just like this. So it doesn't need a lot of heat. All right, so what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go grab it real quick. I do want to wipe down for this part right here. All right, so you have rubbing alcohol. You just want to clean up this area. It's going to be metallic vinyl. Okay, and then you want to get your transfer sheet. Your I use Cricut a lot. I know people complain about it, but I think it's long as you don't use the, the purple one, the purple one, it's a strong grip transfer tape and that's for your glitter vinyl. So you definitely don't want that. Okay, so let's get this down. So what you wanna do with this is you wanna grab it and then you wanna get, my goodness, all my tools. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanna get your little tool out here and we want to Make sure that it sticks onto here so that when you go to take off this sheet, it's sticking to our transfer sheet. And let's see. Oh, oh. wow, that one really doesn't want to stay. Okay, so see, I mean, this one's easy because it's just a bunch of words and there's even breaks in them, right? So like the word um, follow is F and then O-L together and then an L and then O-W. So it's really hard with certain fonts like this for it to even bubble up. And this is thin, so it's like, oh man, and I lost a freaking comma. <laughs> It has been a weeding nightmare. Okay, so this is what I wanna to do too, because it's kind of long. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut this in half, and I'm gonna do this one first. So I'm just gonna put this down. And before, you might not want to, want to have done that because then you're unsure if it's gonna to be totally straight, but now that we have our template here, we can do word for word, right? So, all right, let's put this down. Ah, my and lined up, but not my like, so no problem. Just gonna do that. Perfect. The cutest font ever. Okay. Then we have this one. And you know what? This one, I'm going to do the same thing. There's no reason why. I'm gonna stress over the word follow and tag when I can just do one at a time. 
and it's so easy to line up. You can even line up like this, and I'm still holding this part up, um, and just kind of push down. Then you make sure that you have no bubbles. And we know it's straight. <sighs> All right, then we have the word follow. I think nowadays, like no one wants to get anything. So if, if you're having a craft sale, like where you're in a big building with a ton of people, no one wants your business card. But then if they see something, if you don't have a unique name, they might forget, but they can take a picture of all your information and then they can tag and follow along as well. I'm gonna try to find that stupid comma right there. I'm so mad, but so, all right, so here's, um, most of it, I'm gonna just show you a few more steps, but you can see like here's my little uh, mail. I'm just gonna put it down here like this, right? Line it up perfectly. And then you can just hit a little bit of heat. The other thing that you need to worry about when you're doing iron on is if you see this little piece right here, if I put this one down here, make sure that all your vinyl, all your HTV is actually touching the acrylic blank. You don't want it to be, of course, you don't wanna iron this onto this transfer sheet, right? That will ruin it. So just make sure either trim it really well or just make sure it, you do this. But see how easy it is to make sure that you've lined up everything? So that's all you need to do. And then you iron on the whole thing and then you paint the back. So easy peasy, right? Um, let's see, I'm gonna show you if, I'm gonna lay down a few more items. I had, like I said, I had the hardest time weeding this thing. It was a nightmare. Um, all right, so all of this is down. I'm gonna hit the heat really, really quickly on this because I don't want a lot of heat. I just wanna activate the sticker, the glue. And you can even take. That's a nice big piece, so that's not a big deal. But this Instagram one is so thin that if it didn't stick, yeah, it didn't. I'm gonna have to hit it with more heat. Oh man, it's not coming up, so I'm gonna hit it with more heat. The nice thing about this Cricut, the mini, is that you are only applying heat to where you want to, so you're not going to accidentally burn anything else. Let's see if I can get, okay, there. Most of it is down. Yay. All right. Feels good. See if I can get it. Most of it's down. Yay. All right, so I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more heat right here on all the signs, the icons. Okay, this one still needs it.
is making sure nothing's coming up. But all right, so we're gonna do the rest of it and I will see you on Instagram with the final pictures. But the rest of this is HTV, which I still need to read because it was just, you can see it's coming up. I would totally just, a lot of times I would recut this because there's still so much left, but I don't have enough of this blue and I love this blue, so I will see you next time. All right, let me know what you think. Um, feedback here, you hate it, need more time, you wanna see the whole thing. Normally I do step by step all the way to the end, but it's just a repeat of everything that you've seen and then the painting. So, all right, I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.